best and worst of 2020. Please guys, stay with me. Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Aksana and today I want to have more of the charity video. I want to talk about my best and my worst purchases of 2020. Luckily, I don't have that many of worst, but I do have some and I have plenty of best purchases. Doesn't mean that everything that I purchased in 2020, I think they're the best. But the reason why I would say what I want to show to you today are the best because I mean the number of times that I actually use this item, the popularity of the item, resale value of the item and simply if this item gives me the joy. And I want to start with Chanel. So the first best of 2020 it's my chanel 19 and with chanel 19 i had pretty much saga because first i got it in a red color maybe i even gonna in, include the the modeling shots over here in red and note that i didn't like that handbag in red i think it's absolutely gorgeous in red but for me personally it was a little bit too much to handle you know i would say it's too bold for my style so it didn't work out for me in red i had that handbag for literally two weeks less than two weeks maybe 10 days i kept it in my closet pretty much tried with several outfits obviously never took it outside and i find that it's too big and too bold in red color for me personally and then i exchange it with this black and this black and goat skin and i absolutely love it the leather is extremely durable everything about this handbag i love the only one i would say somewhat negative is that the chain is very very heavy and sometimes it kind of twists and it's not easily um, um untwist like even see right now i'm taking from the inside you can see that there's kind of like twisting happening in the in that area so the the chain is not as easy to manage let's put it this way but otherwise everything else is perfection there is a pocket at the back i love that it has some kind of like you know top handle and i'm a top handle girl and i love that i can actually make this handbag either on the shoulders or a crossbody it, it, it it's a perfect the size of this handbag slightly bigger than medium large classic but because it doesn't have a flap and because it's kind of soft uh you know structure it fits way more i completely don't have to downsize with this handbag this handbag is perfect and uh, here is the inside it's a gorgeous kind of raspberry red color and i just got myself recently zumoni organizer let me just pull it actually out the zumoni organizer there you go guys this is the zumoni organizer absolutely love the quality and i got in this kind of also raspberry red color it has extra um like a lipstick holder which is also very very useful and obviously it keeps the shape of chanel 19 and protects of the inside and if you might be potentially interested in zumoni organizers which i highly recommend this is the letter that I usually receive with my Zumoni organizers and I will show to you guys. Attention to details in this company is absolutely superb. Look at this gorgeous letter. In beautiful, beautiful pink, like, you know, Sakura uh, bloom. Love, love, love everything. And as I said, if you might be potentially interested in Zumoni organizers, I have a discount code Aksana LV and you will get 20% off. Actually, since I'm on the topic of organizers, I used to buy also organizers from um, Samorga. And literally, from when I'm buying from Samorga, the shipping at least, at least taking uh, a month. For me to receive anything from uh, uh, Samorga, but Zumoni literally comes in a couple of days. They use FedEx. I receive my organizer via FedEx. And let me once again, you can see right now it's without organizer. And let me show you how easily this organizer goes inside. And it's absolutely perfect, perfect uh, fit. Like there is no single inch 
of weight state, uh, space inside. So really, really love it, really love it. So if you're interested, uh, use my code uh, Oksana LV and you will get 20% off. So this is my number one best purchase of 2020. Number two, my best purchase of 2020 is actually by the end of the year, but I can tell you with a 100% probability because even I got it by the end of the year, the number of time I already wore it and the joys that it gives me, it's my Rolex watch. I'm gonna once again come a little bit closer to the camera. This is my Rolex watch. Absolutely, absolutely love them. Absolutely love them. And I have it in day just 31 with the diamonds and dark gray dial. Absolutely love it. Let me actually put them right now on. And that's what I said, like, you know, it's, um, it's based on the comfort and how many times I already wore it. It's, it's pretty much one of the best purchases. And as I said, it's, it's, it's absolutely perfect on my wrist. I did some adjustment. I believe they removed three links and, um, but otherwise I absolutely love it. And as I said, I just can wear it just by itself like that. And it's already, uh, punch of luxury let's put it this way and because it has a yellow gold and it has a stainless steel so it's pretty much matching with the white matching with the gold you name it i absolutely love this watch and if you're thinking of rolex i highly highly recommend so truly truly love the next best purchase of 2020 i have to say with a hundred percent it's my lv on the go this tote bag is absolutely perfect for every day and you can see that i have some items inside and usually if i have something inside it means i'm actually using this handbag absolutely love it um i got latest version and it's actually mm's uh, size i got latest version when they already have very very soft cowhide uh, straps for the shoulders and that's definitely what i love i put also my beautiful charm and i love this charm because it has two sides one is the pink one and one is the red which is matching this gorgeous red interior there is also kind of like like ground thingy on this uh, charm, but I removed it because I find it's like too bulky over here. So I just use it with this clasp and um, you know, it's a perfect match. Why I'm talking so much about this charm? The best purchase of 2020 is definitely my on the go. If I have to go for some kind of meeting or if I have to go somewhere that I need to bring more items, I use this handbag all the time. And uh, as I said, I got also really lucky my handbag is made in France, which is nowadays, it's almost like unique <laughs> handbag from Louis Vuitton. So really, really happy that I got myself on the go. Highly, highly recommend for anybody if you're thinking. So this is my, like, you know, everyday best purchase handbag. My next best purchase of 2020, it's another Chanel. And this time it's a Chanel uh, sneakers, Chanel shoes. I recently got these shoes on Chanel sale, 40% off. I'm gonna link that video in the description box below. Um, frankly, I didn't really use them outside yet, but I tried them at home, I wear them at home, and I absolutely love it. And the price that I got these sneakers, I mean, like, come on, you cannot get anything at that price right now, so literally, literally gorgeous color, and usually when items go on sale at Chanel, they in seasonal colors like you know something that's very very difficult to match but these sneakers they're in absolutely neutral color and goes like i would say in summertime it will go with anything anything you want to wear with these sneakers will look absolutely perfect so i'm really really glad that i got these sneakers my next uh best purchase of 2020 and i think i because i can go on and on like you know of the best purchases but i just did kind of selective because i think this is the best value versus money versus number of time i use this item and this is my chanel fashion therapy this is seasonal handbag but it's somehow very very similar in function and the look of chanel 19 because it has a back pocket it has a top handle it has a um, crossbody chain it even has very very close interior kind of raspberry red 
and uh, I love everything about this handbag. Obviously, it doesn't have that um, Chanel 19 um, CC um, logo at the front. This is more of the simple uh, logo, and I love that. I love that this handbag made of uh, caviar, and it's kind of, as I said, it's, uh, the flap goes all the way uh, to the front. It's kind of more of the classy looking, a little bit more of the boy looking. It's, it, it's kind of like a combination of all the classic handbags that Chanel has and I really, really love it. And by the way, because this size of the handbag pretty much almost identical to the size of Chanel 19, I can easily, easily use my uh, organizer from Chanel 19. So here is my Zumoni organizer for Chanel 19. And I can, let's say, if I'm switching handbags, I can just easily put this organizer inside my fashion therapy. Let me just show it to you. It's pretty much a perfect match. There you go. So this is the beauty of uh, having organizers. You can easily transfer items from one handbag to another one. And as I said, because my Chanel 19 and fashion therapy, very, very close in style. Let me just show it to you guys closely together. I actually have the video when I'm comparing these two handbags. I'm maybe even going to link it in the description box below. You can see they're very, very close in size and in style. But this one is blue and in caviar. And it was my number one handbag during the summertime when I wore denim or anything blue. I use this handbag all the time. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. One of the best purchases of uh, 2020 and that's what I always say if you love some kind of style if that style truly speaks to you and it's a seasonal one go for it because so many times people are saying like oh don't buy anything seasonal it doesn't hold the value listen if you're gonna enjoy it go for it okay so this is my best purchases of 2020 my worst purchases of 2020 luckily I didn't have uh, many and uh, I have two, I would consider truly worse purchases of 2020. One of them is Chanel and it's a Chanel earrings. I'm going to put a, a picture of these earrings um, or maybe even like if I have a video or anything of those earrings me wearing. I mean, I'm going to put something over here of these earrings. And these earrings, they were kind of like really hot item at that season and everybody is running and buying those earrings. And I'm not saying that they're not pretty. They're actually very, very pretty. But the shape of my ears, like, you know, they don't really sit well on me. And, uh, and I don't know how it's in your country, but at least in Canada and Toronto, you cannot try Chanel earrings at the store they just simply don't give you and this item is not returnable so I got those earrings I tried them at home I didn't really like how they sit on me and then I think I wore maybe once and a friend of mine she really loves them but she goes like oh but it's used item you cannot return it already and uh, she asked me if I could sell it to her but with really heavy discount and because she's a friend of mine and I want to keep her happy, <laughs> I actually sold her those earrings and I literally lost almost like 50% value on those earrings. I know they're somewhat on like, you know, fashion files sold for more, but I don't know. I really lost on those earrings like... So I'm kind of more cautious right now with the custom jewelry with Chanel. So anyway, those earrings didn't work out for me specifically, not because there is something wrong with those earrings. They're actually gorgeous, but they didn't work out for me. And my last worst purchase of 2020, I don't know if I should call it worst because I really love this item. Anyway, this is my Louis Vuitton Academy loafers. And when I tried them at the boutique, they're really, really soft inside. They're very, very cushy inside. And that's what I love about them. And I thought like, listen, with any of my Louis Vuitton items, it will be a perfect fit. So I have also belt in um, the fin style. So I thought, okay, I have a belt that it will match with everything. And it does match with everything. The only worst part of these loafers, and you can see I already wore them. I already wore them enough. It's... Um, this base it's not 
flexible at all like i cannot even bend it it's it's so hard this base so when you i'm walking the feet is actually it's not flexible so it's kind of like you know stomping boom 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 and that's what's really really uncomfortable about this academy loafers maybe they're gonna get more comfortable i don't know but we shall see we shall see okay that was my best and worst purchases of 2020 please comment below what is your number one best purchase of 2020 or what is your worst for purchase of 2020 i hope you didn't have any worst purchases but if you did please share your not so great purchases for 2020 if you like this video please guys don't forget to give me thumbs up i truly truly appreciate your support if you love my channel in general please consider subscribing and i will see you on my next one bye bye